Hello, friends of Sudoku, and welcome to what is supposed to be a very hard puzzle. I got a stack of photocopies last night from a gentleman who said, try those because they were too difficult for him. And the target time for each is supposed to be 35 minutes. I, I guess that is uh, with notation because I think most people actually use notation when they solve on paper. But I will attempt this without any notation and see how it goes. I tried one of these hard ones while we were having a few beers last night and it took me 21 minutes. So I fully expect this to be a tough puzzle. The first thing I notice is a four and an eight here and here, and they put a four and an eight in these two cells. And the six bearing down here and the six bearing over here, then, oh, ah, hang on, we got a six blocking here. Uh, we got a six blocking here, and we got a six blocking over here. So this is a six. Let me go through that again. These two have to be a four and an eight, and we got sixes blocking over here. So this must be a six. And this must therefore be a six. And now one of these must be a six, and one of these must, oh, hang on. We got six here and here going over like this. We got the six coming up here. So this is a six, nice. Now one of these must be a six and one of these must be a six. And for the time being, I think that's it for the sixes. There's something going on with the seven and the ones. There's a seven going over here and a seven coming up here. So one of these is a seven. Therefore, one of these three guys must be a seven. Oh, hang on. We just found out that one of these is a six, right? And I'm looking at two here and here. So a two is the other digit that will go here. So this is a two six pair. And we have a three going up here. So one of these will be a three and therefore one of these two will be a three. I think that's it, yes. And we got a couple of three candidates here because of these two threes, don't we? This eight blocks over here, and the eight blocks down here. So one of these is an eight, and therefore one of these will be an eight. Let's continue our research here. The search for numbers. We got a nine here or here because of the nine here, right? And we got a nine, we got a five here, we got a five here, and that puts a five up here, right? Because the five is blocking over here, and there cannot be a five here or here because of the five in the box. So this is a five, and now one of these two must be a five. This must be a two or a seven because, yes, because we need to find a one, two, and a seven for these three cells and the one blocks this. But that's not terribly important because it doesn't help me at all. But the good old uh, counting method works well for row two for which we need a two, three, and a one, two, three, and a nine a one, two, three, and a nine. We got a two, three, and a nine observing this cell. Therefore, this must be a one. And now we got the one and the one here blocking all the way up here, right? The one blocking over here. So this is a one. So a one and a seven will occupy two of these three squares. 
And now we know that these three will have to be a nine, three, and a two. And that means that these cells up here must be a one, seven, and a nine. We got a nine here, so one of these must be a nine. But if they are one, seven, nine, then these must be a two and a three. And that means that these can't be a two or a three, and we have a two and a three here. So these two must be a two and a three, right? I think that is true. Two and a three here. A six coming up here and here. Yes, then this must be a six because we have a six coming up here. We have a six coming up here, so this is a six. So two and three still need to find a five and a four. There's a five in the top row, so this must be a four and this must be a five. Right? Well, we'll find out by, at the end, <laughs> but I think it's right. I believe we said that these have to be a 179 and these therefore are 2, 3, and we have a 3 here. So this is a 2 and this is a 3. If I'm not mistaken now, one of these must be a 2. And therefore, one of these must be a two, right? But a one, seven, nine here and a two, three here should make it possible for me to find a six for this square. And these two now have to be a seven and a four. There's a seven in this column, so this is a four and this is a seven. Now one of these must be a seven. What's going on with these three here? An eight and a seven and a five. So an eight will have to go here or here, and because of the it here, one of these must be an eight. This cannot be a five, so one of these must be a five. And I think that's all I can say about that for the time being. But there's a nine blocking over here, and there's a nine blocking over here, and that makes this a nine, I'm sure. I should have seen that a long time ago. That begs the question, what's going on with these four digits here? Uh, two, three, five, and an eight. There's a two, eight here. So this is a three or a five. There's a three and a five here. So this is a two or an eight. We got, hang on, this can't be an eight. This can't be an eight. So an eight must go here or here. It is as if I already found that out a while ago. No, anyway, these are still a uh, two, three, and a nine, except this, of course, can only be a two or a three now because of the nine in the column. But I'm spotting, I think, the one going over here and the one coming down here, that forces a one to go here or here. We have this one here. So the cell over here must be a one. And now this must be a two seven and this must be a two seven, except it can't be a two because we have a two in this box already. So this is a seven and this is a two. 
These were four and eight, remember? Therefore, this must be a seven. This is now a one and a nine. Can we do something with that? I don't think so. What about the seven going up here and coming over here? One of these is a seven. And one of these is a seven. And one of these is a seven. And one of these is a seven. They're all a little oddly placed. So I will look elsewhere for something more worthwhile. So a four eight here. I still need to find a one seven five and a nine. Five seven, so this is one and nine. So we have to find a five and a seven for these three cells here. I feel that that should be possible. But it's not immediately clear to me. So I'll have to look at something else. Oh, but I remember that we had a two and a three going up here, and there's a two here. It's been there all the time, so this must be the three and this must be the two. It really pays to pay attention to what one is doing, I think. Now a one, four, seven, and a nine for these. Well, we've got a one, seven, and a nine here, so this must be a four. No doubt about that. Now, one of these must be a nine, of course. And one and a seven, well, but we had a four and an eight. And an eight over here. So now that we found this four, this must be an eight and this must be a four. And now these two must be a five and a three. Yes, a five and a three making this an eight. Because the eight here blocks these two cells and the eight here blocks this cell and one of these must be an eight. And we have an eight in the bottom row here. So this must be an eight. And uh, what did I say here? I said a uh, three and a five, right? So this is a one and a seven. And there is a seven in this column, making this a seven and this a one. And this one blocks up here, this one blocks down here, and this one blocks over here. So this is a one, and that makes this a one. And I remember a one a nine up here. So this is a one, and this is a nine. Now one is of so these is a nine, but I've mentioned that before. Only one digit missing here, that's a nine. So that makes this a nine. Yes, it does. And this was a three five, and therefore with the three here, that makes this a five and this a three. The last digit here has got to be a seven, making this a seven, and now only one digit missing here, which is a five. These three cells must be a four, five, and an eight. Hmm, I can't resolve those, but I do know that I can resolve this cell here, which has got to be a two. So now one of these is a two, right? And the two others must be an eight and a four. And these have to be a five, three, and an eight. 
also no can do. Now let me look at these two here. Uh, we we must we must be able to find something. This is going to be a five and a eight, and there's a five in this column, making this an eight finally. And this is then a five, and that makes this an eight, and this must be a four now. And I think we are getting close to cracking this puzzle. These two now have to be a four and a two. I believe the only digit that helps me on with the puzzle now is the seven here and here blocking here and the seven blocking over here. So this is the seven. And I think it's easier now to find the two digits that go here. One of them is a four and the four up here forces the four to go here. And this is a two. Now these three remaining cells must be a three, eight and a five. There's an eight here and there's an eight here blocking here. So this is an eight and this is a three, five now. There's a five in the row. So this is a three, this is therefore a five. And that makes this a five, doesn't it? And this is going to be a three making this a three. Yes, we've got it now, <laughs> unless I made a, a mistake and the last two digits don't match. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? This is a nine and that makes this a nine and this has got to be a two, making this a two and this last one, if everything has worked, is a four. Yes, very satisfying. I did this in uh, a lot less than 35 minutes and um, that pleases me. I hope that you found this interesting. Uh, I, he gave me a bunch of uh, photocopies and I might solve some more of these puzzles and see how that goes. Thank you for following this uh, solve all the way through and um, bye for now.